Hi everyone and welcome to the London Craftsman channel. Do you want to save some money? Yep, yeah, I'm sure you do. Do you want to see a little hack on how to uh, make your own mirror screws to fix mirrors onto doors or walls, etc, etc? I'm sure you do. So right here I've got a little magic bag of components to save you at least two thirds of the money on the standard mirror screws that you buy from the usual shop, Screwfix, Amazon, Toolstation, all those kind of places, Ironmongery Direct. So yeah, there's a two thirds difference between what I have here, shop bought version, to the kit that I have here. So if you want to find out what I've got and how I actually fix mirrors into position, use my own little method, stay tuned, watch to the end, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's start by showing you what you will buy off the shelf. Okay, so you'll buy a three-part set. Okay, you'll buy the cap, you'll buy the rubber, and you'll buy the screw. So the screw has got a little slot on it, and the slot enables you to put that screw in with a flathead screwdriver. It's also got a little hole to accept the dome. The dome is the cover that goes over the screw so once you've finished and you've screwed that mirror on it will screw it into your screw like so this rubber here is the protection so the rubber will go through the bottom of your mirror poke through poke through like so and then that rubber protects at the bottom it's got the little rubber washer there because it's designed that way and then you'll poke your screw through and as you're tightening it up it will squash the tip of that rubber as you can see the rubber sticking through it will compress it and squeeze it over over the top of the mirror creating another rubber barrier um, to protect the mirror and once you're happy and it's all screwed up you then put the dome on like so so there are variations of these you can buy square domes square edge domes all different finishes um, I kind of like the chrome and I've stuck to chrome. So we'll go over the costs right at the end, okay, because there is a two thirds saving. Let's look at what I have in my pack. I have got dome heads, okay, they just clip on. I have got little plastic caps, so the screw will go through that and protect the mirror, and it will also allow the cap to clip on. And then we have washers. So the washer is going to go behind the mirror and protect it so the mirror is not squashing up against the door or the wall. So there we go. We've got three components there. We also need screws. I generally use for an 18 mil door a 20 mil screw. So I use a forehead, so four by 20s. So this is the set that you need. Also length of the screw. It also depends on the thickness of your door. So yeah, just allow for the thickness of your door okay so they they work for me so that is the set okay and i'm going to go over prices right at the end okay so we've got our holes here i generally get about a six mil hole drilled in 50 by 50 in each corner no need for any in the middle absolutely fine this is what i like to do anyway and i go for a 1.2 mirror by about 300 or 350 and put it in the right position on your door and you can see everything so that is fine um, so first thing you want to do is draw around your hole then you can move that out the way obviously you've got a door to take into account if it's vertical then it might be a little bit tricky someone will hold your mirror for you on the door draw the holes out or position them in your own way take the mirror away and do drilling so we've got a little mark I'm going to pre-drill the center a little bit with a three mil drill bit like so and um, then Going to get my rubber washer, links for all of these components will be in the video description, place that over the hole. I'm also just going to put one here just for the sake of it. Then put my mirror in place. If it's awkward, you can always tape these washers to your door first or tape them to the back of your mirror with masking tape. And that should solve your issue of them moving around. Next, I'm going to get these little white collars. OK, so they enable um, you to clip your cap on and also protect mirror from your screw so they only go one way so they've got a little collar so just make sure the collar is upwards okay so the widest part is at the top put your screw through like so find your hole and tighten that up I'd advise to use a screwdriver rather than a drill so you don't over tighten there we go don't pre-drill too much as, as well I use a three mil drill bit or you can go slightly smaller 
that is tight enough. Remember, it doesn't have to be stupidly tight. And then we're gonna get our caps. So our caps are the finishing touch. There we go. And you simply click it on, okay? So I shouldn't really do this because I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to take off and I wanna reuse the mirror, but ready? There we go, we are in. Solid, okay, it's not going anywhere. The mirror's not moving, look, I'm moving the, the piece with the mirror and it's absolutely fine, all protected. That is all you need to do. So that is the hack basically to be able to make your own little kit, buy them in bulk, save yourself two thirds of the money. Let's go over costs because um, there is quite a bit of savings to be made, especially if you're fitting lots of mirrors and you just want to have a whole load of screws for your toolkit. So let's go over the kit, okay? So if you are to buy um, a kit from Screwfix or off the shelf, like I mentioned before, they're gonna cost you on average 69p a screw. I've worked out that I can get 10 screws or sets for £6.99. Divide that by 10 is 69p a screw. You can probably get them a little bit cheaper, but I didn't like the quality of the ones that I saw. These are the ones that I liked, and yeah, 6 99 is an average um, for 10, 69p a screw. So let's go over my little hack and my little money saver. So the washers here, okay, the little rubber washers, three mil thick. These come in at 7 99 for 100. That works out at, let's just round it up to 8p a washer. The caps and the bases, these two, um, I can buy these for £27.59 pence for 200 So that works out for these two. It works out at 14p each. Okay, so we've got 8p and we've got 14p. And then I've got my screws. So I just use my standard screws. Okay, I can buy these a lot cheaper when I buy my screws. I just buy single thread wood screws mainly most of the time. But the box is £3.29 for a box of 200 4x20s. So that is 200 screws for £3.29, which makes them less than 2p each. I can get them cheaper because I buy mine in bulk. I buy like 200 boxes at a time. But um, yeah, they are the screws. So they work out at 2p each. So let's add that up. The washer, 8p. The cap and the base is 14p. And the screw is 2p. That works out at 24p per set, okay? My own method compared to 69p for the off the shelf method, giving you a saving of 45p. So you can basically buy three of my sets compared to one of the sets that you buy from the shop, which is a great saving. So if you are going through tons and tons, you are gonna save. Any saving is a saving, isn't it, at the end of the day? And I like to buy in bulk. All my screws are bought in bulk. Everything I buy is bought in bulk. The MBF, the materials, everything. And if you think, if you're gonna use it over time, and you are 100% gonna use it over and over again, why not buy in bulk and why not save that money? Because generally you save, you can save up to half. On this occasion, I'm saving two thirds, which is great. So there you go, there's a little money saving tip there for you and a little hack to create the same um, set of screws for fixing a mirror down, but just for a lot less money using my own little method. So I hope that helped. Let me know if you fix mirrors and how you fix yours. If you've got any other techniques, leave comments in the bar if you can. Tell me your method. Um, do you do the same? Um, what screws do you use, etc., etc. Be good to know. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. See you next Friday. Ciao for now.